Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues and guests. Let me the meeting of the Dissertation Council for the Defense of the Thesis for Academic Degree uh, on Speciality 070002 National History on the topic The Musical Culture of Leningrad in the 1930s, the mid 1950s, in the creative biography of Sviridov considered open. The author is Emilianova Maria Edwardovna. Uh, by the order of the St. Petersburg State University from November 23, 2017, number 11575-1, uh, Ms. Sokolov, Roman Alexandrovich, Doctor of History, Professor of the Department of the Historical Regional Studies of St. Petersburg State University, was appointed as the chairman of this dissertational council, and also allow me to introduce my fellow board members. Rajdestvinskaya uh, Milena Vsevolodna, professor of the Department of History of Russian Literature, Malzinsky Vladimir Viktorovich, Vladimirovich, professor of the Department of Hot Piano, St. Petersburg State Institute of Culture, Skotnikova Galina Viktorovna, professor of the Department of Theory and History of Culture, St. Petersburg State Institute of Culture, Ichin Kanelia, professor of the Russian Literature, Belgrade University, Serbia. Miss uh, Ichin is via uh, this Skype. Uh, I would like to emphasize that according to the federal law of the 23rd of August 1996, uh, number 127FZ on science and the state scientific and technical policy, St. Petersburg State University has the right to independently award academic de degrees. The corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees at the St. Petersburg State University, on the basis of which we conduct our meeting of the Council, was issued on the 1st of September 2016. Uh, the number 6821 uh, slash 1 here and after the order. In accordance with this order, the meeting of the Dissertational Council is considered eligible if at least two from the approved membership of the Dissertational Council, but not less than four people. Uh, our dissertational council consists of five members. All members are present, including one in remote interactive mode. Thus, uh, there is a quorum. And without Cornelia Ichen, and uh, there is an audiovisual contact with uh, Ms. Ichen. Um, I establish the following schedule of today's meeting, not more than two hours. Uh, first, the chairman's summary report on the main content of the document submitted by the co-seeker and their compliance with the established requirements. Answers to possible questions, five minutes, are allowed. Brief report of the candidate reflecting the main points of the research, 15 minutes. Questions to the com Candidate strictly according to her report, no more than two minutes for one question. Responses of the applicant. Uh, point four, the announcement by the chairman of the received reviews. All the reviews were posted on the site of St. Petersburg State University, so only questions and comments to them are vo voiced. Five minutes. Speeches of all the members of the Dissertation Council uh, with the reviews, with the statements of their positions, with questions and suggestions to the candidate colleagues. No more than 10 minutes for the speaker are allowed. Applicants' answers to the questions and remarks of the members of the Dissertation Council. No more than 15 minutes. Open discussion speeches at the request of those present at the defense of the thesis with a brief presentation of their uh, 
positions and or with specific questions and proposals to the candidates strictly on the topic of the research. No more than five minutes for each speech. Uh, I would like to pay your attention, uh, dear colleagues, all those who want to have the floor have to be registered in a special register form. It is at the first desk. Point eight, final answers of the applicant for the questions asked. No more than five minutes if there are such questions. Speech of the scientific uh, supervisor of the applicant and then comes a break, a five minute break before an open vote to make a conclusion on the issue of awarding or not awarding the degree of St. Petersburg State University uh, to the applicant. And for the time be, uh, of the discussion by the members of the uh, thesis uh, council, uh, the broadcast is s turned off. Uh, then open voting, counting of votes by the chairman of the dissertational council with uh, entering the results in the minutes of the meeting. Uh, then decision on awarding or not awarding the academic degree of St. Petersburg State University. And finally, the conclusion word of the applicant up to two minutes. Uh, dear colleagues, before moving to the implementation of uh, the rules of the meeting, I remind you to switch off your mobile phones if you have not done it before. Thank you for understanding these technical issues. There is I would like to inform you that our meeting is providing with audio and video recording at its live broadcast <coughs> on the website of St. Petersburg State University. University. Also, the defense is providing with simultaneous interpretation from Russian into English or from English into Russian. Well, let's get uh, down to business and our first point, the short report of the uh, candidate. Uh, this is of Yemelyanova Maria Fyodorovna for the degree of candidate of historical sciences. On the topic, the musical culture of Leningrad of 1930 and the middle of the 1950s in the creative biography of Sviridov is accepted for the defense by the order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg State University from the 16th of November 2016, number 9174 slash one. The dissertation council was, uh, <clears throat> was approved by the order, order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg State University on no the 23rd of November 2017, number 11575 slash one. And, and uh, the structure of our dissertation panel was already presented to you. And uh, the applicant submitted the following documents to the scientific secretary. The statement addressed to the rector of St. Petersburg State University to Professor Nikolai Mikhailovich Kropachev on the acceptance for the examination and defense of the thesis submitted on the uh, 4th of September in 2017. The review of the scientific supervisor of the Institute of History of St. Petersburg State University Doctor of Cultural Studies, Associate Professor of the Department of History of Western European and Russian Culture, uh, Ms. Sakurova. The list of publications, um, including seven papers, which outlines the main scientific results of the dissertation. Uh, the certificate from the June 14th 20, 
12, number 266, issued by the St. Petersburg State University, certifying that Yemelyanova passed all the candidate examinations on specialty 7002, uh, national history on the following discipline. Uh, national history, excellent history and philosophy of science. Excellent. Foreign language, English, satisfactory. The certificate from the June 14th, uh, 2012, number 267, issued by St. Petersburg State University, certifying that Yemelyanova uh, passed the candidate examinations on the specialty 070002 national history on disciplines history additional candidate examinations on general scientific discipline excellent the conclusion on the recommendation of this thesis musical culture of leningrad of 1930s mid 1950s in the creative biography of sviridov uh, is recommended uh, for the defense, approved by the vice rector for scientific work of St. Petersburg State University, uh, Plonov. Uh, the diploma with honors, uh, A number 0060483, issued on, on the 30th of June in 2006 by the institution of education uh, Grodna State University named after Yanka Kupala uh, to Yemelyanova uh, that she graduated the full course of the said university in 2006. The thesis in Russian and English on in a paper and electronic form. The thesis is designed in accordance with the requirements of uh, state standards are 7.0. This thesis is printed on a multiplier with the indication of the output data in the cost accordance with state standards are 704. It should be noted that all the li listed documents comply with the point 12 of section 3, presentation and the defense of dis dissertations. Procedure for awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg State University Appendix Number One to the order, which have already be, has already been mentioned. And, dear colleagues, I would like to give the floor to Maria Edward, Edwardovna for brief report. And I remind you that you have a time limit of 15 minutes. Please. Please push the button while having the speech. Good afternoon, dear chairman, dear members of the Dissertational Council, dear colleagues and guests. Your attention is given a thesis on the topic, the musical culture of Leningrad in uh, 1930s, mid-1950s, in the creative biography on Georgi Vasilievich Sviridov. Sviridov is the greatest Russian composer of the second half of the 20th century. Without uh, creative achievements of whom it is impossible to imagine the development of the national musical culture. Nowadays, his creative heritage is the subject of close attention, not only of professional musicians, historians, and music theoreticians, but also to all those who care about the destiny of Russia and its culture. The uh, authors of the articles mainly followed the path of consistent chronological review of the composer's creativity and explore the ideological and figurative content of specific musical works. There were very few generalized works on the style of the composer. Uh, his musical language rooted in tradition and at the same time expressing the soul of modern man. Not to mention the fact that during the period of the composer's life, studies about him never went beyond the bounds, boundaries of musical science and were not considered in a broader and more necessary historical and cultural context. 
Over the past 20 years, a lot of serious work has been done uh, to in order to thoroughly study and scientifically describe the personal archive of the composer, to restore and thoroughly study the whole body of his creative heritage, to study his epistolary heritage and sound archive. The book uh, Music as Destiny, containing the diary entries of the composers, Georgi Sviridov in the remembrance of his contemporaries, were published. The first mon uh, notographic reference book was published, which gives the most reliable idea of the composer's creative legacy. In the same years, numerous scientific and practical conferences devoted to the composer's legacy were regularly held in Russia and abroad. Debuts of unknown works that were not performed during his lifetime were held. Uh, thus, what was done in recent years has allowed us to better imagine the true scale of Sviridov's personality and crea creativity. The understanding of this fact determined the diverse interests of scientists in the life and work of the com composer. They first began to be considered in interdisciplinary field. Historians, philosophers, the theologians, literary critics, musicians, and journalists were involved in the study of Sviridov's mul multifaceted creative heritage. Of course, today the opportunities for a deep and detailed study of each stage of Sviridov's creative biography have expanded. At the same time, the least developed and meaningful was the initial Leningrad period. Meanwhile, during the first third of his creative life, 1932 to 1955, Sviridov was associated with Leningrad, where his intense personal and creative development took took place. Therefore, the Leningrad period, which laid the professional and life foundation in the composer's biography, is important not only in itself, but first of all for a more correct understanding of the origins of his style and comprehension of the further creative path. Uh, the urgency of the uh, research topic is conditioned by the need for a deep compre comprehensive study of this. Uh, the purpose of the dissertation research is the study of the creative biography of Sviridov in the broad context of the history and culture of Leningrad in the 1930s and the middle 1950s. The chronological scope of the study is determined by the time of Sviridov's arrival from Kursk to Leningrad in 1932. Uh, to continue his education at the musical college and his move to Moscow in 1955. To achieve this goal, it was necessary to solve the following tasks. With maximum detail to explore the Leningrad period of life and creativity of the composer. To specify the dates and facts of his biography relating to the period mentioned to study the historical context of the era, the ideological orientation in the field of cultural policy, and the complex paradigm of the development of the national and, in particular, the Leningrad culture of this period, to consider in detail the most significant events in the city's musical life, its cultural atmosphere, uh, identify those factors that have become decisive in the search for style, the development of artistic tastes and views, the formation of the creative personality of Sviridov. The subject of the study is documents on the history of the cultural life of Leningrad and materials related to the Leningrad period of the creative biography of Sviridov. This includes decisions in the field of culture of this period, scientific literature, numerous archival sources, newspapers and magazine articles. The source base of the dissertation research was very extensive. These are the documents from the funds of the uh, Soviet Union of Soviet Composers of the USSR, the Committee for Arts, the Musical College, uh, Leningrad Conservator Conservatory, the Leningrad Union of Composers, the uh, various theatrical funds, also uh, archive materials of the St. Petersburg State Conservatory uh, of Riz Rizmsky Kosakov, and so on. Uh, in the th thesis, practically all the information 
available related to the life and work of the composer during the Leningrad period was processed and analyzed. Archival sources which discovered many unknown facts in the activities of the educational and cultural institutions of Leningrad connected with the creative biography of Sviridov of these years have been put into scientific circulation. Numerous periodicals and other printed editions were collected and analyzed during uh, this period. For the first time, the uh, parts from Sviridov's letters to the second wife of uh, the musician, as well as letters from different ye years of Sviridov's son and nephew, uh, his nephew Belanenko, containing the composer's mem memories of Leningrad period of life and creati creativity. A lot of available information for recreating the appearance and details of the life and work of the composer of this years was given by uh, my personal conversations of the author with uh, by the personal conversations of the author with people who knew Sviridov. Uh, the work consists of an introduction, five chapters, conclusion and the list of literature and other sources. Each of the chapters of the study corresponds to one of the main stages of the composer's Leningrad biography. The first chapter is devoted to the training of Sviridov in the Central Musical College. The second to the training at the Leningrad Conservatory. And uh, in this third chapter, I uh, had to uh, study in detail the role of Shostakovich in the creation of Sviridov's uh, personality when he studied in uh, Leningrad Conservatory. The fourth chapter covers the life of Sviridov during the Great Patriotic War. Uh, the fifth chapter covering the period from uh, 1940 uh, 4 to 1945. The first one is from 1944 to 1946, then from 1946 to 1943, and the last years of life in Leningrad from 1953 to 1955. Let me briefly list the scientific results that we obtained uh, uh, in the course of our research. Uh, the main events and dates of Sviridov biography from the moment of his arrival uh, uh, in Leningrad in the autumn of 1932 and before his departure to Moscow in 1955, um, many new facts of the biography of the composer were introduced into scientific circulations. Uh, in the work, the most important aspects of secondary and high musical education in Leningrad were uh, studied in detail. Um, comprehensively examined the problems of compo composer's education of those years uh, in focus. The influ influence of St. Petersburg Leningrad Composer School on the information of Sviridov style is shown. The creative and pedag pedagogical activity of Yudin, the first teacher of Sviridov for the composition class, is con uh, consecrated for the first time. Particular attention is paid to the training of the composer in the conservatory class of Rizanov. Uh, the role in the fate of Sviridov, uh, Shostakovich played the re great role in the fate of Sviridov, who preached the works of Sviridov in the pre-war years. He gave him the opportunity to express himself in a serious professional environment. Um, bo and uh, without his support, uh, much in his destiny could be tragic. Bo based on the available scientific literature, as well as a large number of archival sources, the author of the research tried to comprehensively present the musical life of the city in the specified period. Uh, the activity of the Chamber Music Society was uh, recreated in the last year of his existence. In addition, a detailed analysis of the repertoire of the Great Hall of the Leningrad Philharmonic is given. Uh, 
the performance level and repertoire of the capella of those years. The Kirov and Mali Opera Theatres are presented. Household musical culture of Leningrad in the 1930s is shown as a unique period of parallel coexistence of two historical layers of light genre. For the first time, the composer's practical contact with domestic genres was considered, including um, through the compulsory need to earn a living by playing in the restaurant Chvanov on the Petrograd side of Leningrad. Uh, also, uh, the publishing house Odeon played a great role in Sviridov's biography. Um, uh, there were discussions that took place between 1930 and 1941. One, the questions raised in the discussions had a significant influence of, on Sviridov, not only during his creative development. Um, the opera uh, projects of Sviridov are characterized. A detailed, detailed analysis of the range of main issues discussed by composers and museologists in discussions on formalism held in 1936 in Leningrad. A number of creative problems raised by them before the beginning of the campaign have been revealed si since the mid 19 20s. The ideological and artistic positions of Asafiev, Tulin, Rizanov are revealed in detail. Since their views on the events that took place after 1936 and the changes in the sphere of musical culture had an undoubt, undoubted formative influ influence on Sviridov. For the first time in the thesis, it is uh, discussed about the earliest student compositions a bent for f formalism back in the second half of the 1930s. The early work of, work of the composer of these years is presented in the context of the peculiarities of the development of the national musical culture of the period under Sviridov's essays that allow us to understand the process of his creative development are explored. How the foundation of the Sviridov style was formed. For the first time, the period of the composer's evocations to Novosibirsk was thoroughly investigated. It is shown that the Great Patriotic War forced Sviridov to seriously think about the meaning of ways of art, marked the beginning of the period of maturation in the work of the composer of the national idea. It was during the war that he created the cycle Songs of a Wanderer where he first raises the genre of the song before philosophical generalization. Based on the archival data, Sviridov's participation in the life of Leningrad Composers' Union was determined. And uh, they studied documents of the Leningrad U Union of Composers for 1944-1947, gave a unique opportunity to draw an accurate picture of the composer's participation in the activities of the Union and the musical and public life of this city. Let's take the year of 1948, when Sviridov had to endure one of the most difficult and dramatic periods of his life. In this thesis, numerous archival materials were analyzed and put into scientific use, uh, which reflect the accusations directed at Sviridov. Um, uh, the whole dramatic position of the composer in those years became possible to understand, having become acquainted with Sviridov's speech in 1949 on the discussion about symphonic music in the Leningrad Composers' Union, as well as the uh, minutes of the sessions of the Presidium and the Board. Archival documents of the Fund of the Leningrad Union of Composers um, allowed the author of the dissertation research to reconstruct for the first time the chronology of Sviridov's creative commitments in the period from 1948 to 1953. As a result of this study, the hypothesis was confirmed that during the Leningrad period, there were events and meetings that were of fundamental importance for the formation of the personality, the creative worldview, and the style of the composer. In Leningrad, Sviridov joined the greatest achievements of war world and national culture, past and modern, acquired a variety of profound knowledge. Here his noble artistic taste and love for sublime beauty were formed. 
In Leningrad, Sviridov realized his vocational vocation as composer. Here, his first acquaintance with the environment of professional musicians took place. In 1936, with the creation of Pushkin's romances, Sviridov began his prof professional career. And it was the representatives of the Leningrad sung direction of Soviet music who owed the opening of the young Sviridov as a composer for general public. In 1946, for the piano trial, he received the first state award. He became the laureate of the Stalin Award. Nevertheless, the Leningrad period in his life and work of, of the composer was not easy and could not uh, be cloudless. Um, throughout 1932 and 1945, the views on Sviridov's work in the Leningrad composer's environment have cha uh, changed many times. Over these years, composer, the composer passed both through the recognition and support of official circles in the Union of Composers and through a sharp and undeserved criticism for formalism. The independent way in music Sviridov tried to find relying on his best samples of Russian, Soviet and world music art. In the city on the Neva River, where the worldwide sympathy of the Russian culture manifested itself as much as possible, where a meeting of many cultural traditions took place, Sviridov's first appeal to foreign poetry took place, and all his famous works were written on Burns, Isaacian, Beranger, and Shakespeare. In this city, the composer began his careful work with the poetic words, the poetic images of Pushkin, Lermontov, Pasternak, Prokofiev, and through through Yesenin's poetry, Sviridov came to the theme of Russia. Uh, in it is quite natural that it was in Leningrad that Sviridov began his deep involvement in the life and work of Bloch, the fundamental role played by traditions of St. Petersburg-Leningrad culture. Russia and St. Petersburg, the fate of the Russian people in the tragic 20th century. These topics will be central to the music of Sviridov. Thus, Leningrad for Sviridov was one not only the city of youth, where the formation of its personality, worldview, and creative style took place. It became the birthplace of the Russian artist, and in adulthood the exponent and focus on the composer's thoughts about the destinies of Russia and the world. His beliefs in his... He never adjusted to another ideological doctrine, but when, went his own way often contrary to the spirit of the times. The natural gift to think deeply and uh, love one's country and people helped him to develop creative national tradition. And this is the main uh, value of Sviridov for Russian culture and history. An enormous role in the formation of this uh, composer uh, was played by the peculiarities of the Leningrad culture of the 1930s and 1950s. The theoretical and practical significance of the results of the research is seen primarily in the fact that it is intended to help a wide range of, huma of scientists, professional musicians, music lovers, and student youth to better understand the true scale of Sviridov's creative personality, to better understand the multifaceted nature of his writing and the most pressing problem of our time. Thank you for the attention. Distinguished colleagues, your questions to the candidate, according to her report, um, you are allowed two minutes for each question. Are there any questions? Dear Maria Edwardovna, I would like to ask for a notice. Uh, in her memories, Aglaya Leonidovna says that there is uh, a Sviridov's apartment in St. Petersburg, but it is clear that there is no such apartment. Um, at the moment when she wrote her memoirs, she hoped that the flat where she lives would become a museum 
but unfortunately these plans didn't come true. Maybe they will come true. And what is the address of the flat? It is somewhere at the embankment on the opposite side, not far from the conservatorium. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are there any other questions? If there are no more questions at this time, to Maria Edvardovna, please be seated. And now we move to the next issue of the agenda. These are the reviews, including the external reviews. I would like to highlight that all the members of the uh, Council presented their reviews, and there was one external review from Alexander Sergeyevich Belanenko. All the reviews were urgently according to the Order 19 in St. Petersburg State University Annex 1. They were published at the official side of St. Petersburg State University, and as is it was announced at the very beginning, we would like to start with the external review by Alexander Sergeyevich Belanenko. Alexander Sergeyevich is here now, as far as I can understand. Alexander Sergeyevich, would you like to give your own remarks? Okay, you have got five minutes. And please be registered in order to be issued in the protocol. And please turn on the microphone. Uh, you know, I had known this work from the very beginning of its creation as soon as she started and throughout the whole process I got familiar with this work and I participated as much as I could but on the whole I can say that this is a great discovery because this period is the last famous in the biography of Siridov and his biography just starts emerging and I think that this period it is the, uh, the discovery of his work because this dissertation includes the immense amount of new documents and new data that were found by Maria herself and what is quite important for me is the fact that this work was written at the historical faculty at the institution of history and it was written through the historical aspect why is it so important because i graduated from the conservatorium and i worked there and i can understand the condition of our musical and historical science at institutions and uh, I'm here and the purpose of my staying here is that I do believe that the historical musicology must be back at the university here at the, the uh, Department of History and Philology, a prominent Russian uh, scholar studied Mr. Astafiev, he was the student of Platonov and uh, he had his dissertation on the sacred room of Alexander I written here and uh, this dissertation by Maria Emilianova is so precious due to its historical focus and uh, she had the whole range of phenomenon and paraphernalia that arranged his life in Leningrad and uh, it is its main value of this work. Uh, 
I think it is a pioneer discovery. I have not just small and tiny remarks. Maria, she just uh, doesn't know some details, and uh, I knew it from Svridov himself, how he uh, played uh, at Chanov's restaurant. He played with two barons. One of them was from Finland and the Russian baron. And uh, one of them, he was the uh, student of a very famous cello player, a friend of Tchaikovsky. And Sviridov heard a lot about Tchaikovsky from him. So these are some details, and there are lots and lots of them to be studied. It is a great work to be done further on, but the basics, it exists already, and I am very proud of it, and I think it is a worthy thesis, and I think that she is honored to be a candidate. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Alexander Sergeyevich. Milena Vsevolodovna, please. As according to the new rules, I cannot read my review in full. I would like to cut it short. So she pointed out the Leningrad period of Sridov's life. And uh, it is true in the focus of uh, uh, biological dissertation. There are a lot of things from this period of time were still hidden or understudied, and this lacoon is being substituted by this dissertation. That's why it is very new and fresh. The author took the path of studying the sources that were first attracted to the dissertation during this epoch of 1930s, 1950s, there are lots of gray spots in this history from the point of view of history of culture. And uh, these are what the publications and memoirs prove. I would like to point out the book by Natalia Gromova Kuzia, who that was issued two times, and the book is dedicated to the poets of Nikolai Tikhovanov, Asyev, Pasternak in the same period of 1930s. The letters and the documents of those years, as well as the letters from my father's archive, Rajdestinsky, who worked together with Mr. Sveridov, who was looking for his creative path. It shows all the complexity of the epoch, and uh, we cannot divide the epoch of the 1930s and 40s into the black and white stripes, because the tragedy was in this ambiguity of the period, and each period had its own colors and intonation. Uh, in order to characterize the uh, epoch, it is necessary to differentiate between the Soviet art and the art of the Soviet period. Creative work of Sviridov is higher than this term Soviet. It belongs to the Soviet era, but it flows above the time. That's why to uh, state in the urgency of the work. It is urgent because it includes into this modern scientific paradigm, and this is the theoretical importance of this work. It allows us to look from the new perspective at the Soviet uh, art of that time. The chapters of the dissertation are, did, are divided into uh, certain dates, and uh, it is necessary to underline that behind all these chapters there is a great work that being done and uh, high proficiency. It's very difficult for me as a philologist to judge the historical study, but as the dissertation is of complex character, I, I see it as a merit of the dissertation. I would like to discuss some of the issues she raises. 
the basics of the work is chronological, defined by certain dates of his life in Leningrad. Thus, his creative work can be written into the definition of Leningradsky text. And uh, this notion is added by this musical component. And it is the new approach, the new issue that gives the reader a, an idea to think about, about the, this time, about the personality, about the person in context, because the time is the main character of this research as it defines the biography of creative people and creates the type of a person of 1930s, a type of creative person. It is the issue to be studied further on from my point of view and if to float above all the data she collected, it is the time that dictated the creativity of Sarida, the characteristics that had nothing to do with his talent. Emilianova shows that despite everything, the main creative part of his um, work was set up. It was the Russian topic together with the poems by Bloch, Lenin, Tuchiv and Russian nature and Russian culture. I would like the issue, this is my own remark, I would like to discuss the issue of the connection between word and music in what type, the text defined the melody and why he had chosen this or that text. I cannot but agree with all the conclusions of this very interesting dissertation. I was interested in to the scientific character of this dissertation, but still I have to say some remarks, but they are only about the design of the work. The first pages uh, with the content, they are too ample, and I think that some points might be eliminated within the chapter so that the attention of a reader would be focused on the key issues. And in order to characterize the cultural situation in the USSR, is not so much discussed. That's why this topic is quite schematical. And I would like to highlight some of the careless attitude towards the names of the institutions, because the first chapter says that its name is the um, main the description of the country's cultural period of that time. What is the country? Or, for example, when mentioning uh, magazines Zvezda and Leningrad that broke the creative paths of Akhmatova and Zoshinka, it was necessary to underline that it was the order from the 14th of August 1946. I would like you to be precise in this point. There are some stylistic errors, for example, for example, in conclusion, she says that studying of various sources allowed us to get the following scientific resources. And there it goes the list of tasks in the infinitive form to identify, to study, to analyze. Of course, these uh, drawbacks do not underestimate the whole level of the dissertation. So the tasks set in the dissertation were successfully fulfilled. This uh, dissertation is a serious and uh, new creative work that gives us the picture of Sridev's life and other composers of that time. And uh, that provided us with a high level of scientific research and without any doubt this dissertation on the musical culture in Leningrad in the 1930s, the mid-50s in the creative biography of Sviridov complies with the uh, main issues prerequisited by the St. Petersburg State University and 
can be allowed to honor the degree of a candidate of historical sciences in domestic history. Thank you. Thank you, Milena Vsevolodovna. Thank you a lot. No, Vladimir Vladimirovich Malzinski, please, you are welcome. Dear colleagues, in the dissertation of Maria Edwardovna Emilianova, the legacy of the outstanding heritage of Sridov is being uh, discussed. These questions were repeatedly asked by musicologists and received a scientific reflection in the works of art history. The author of this work seeks to analyze the creative personality of Suridov in line with scientific and historical knowledge. This view means the need to solve a very difficult task, the task of proving the enormous significance of Suridov's heritage as the heritage of national history and the object of not just art history work, as was often the case, but a historical dissertation research. Moreover, it needed a different aspect of scientific argument rather than the usual and comprehensively worked out in the mainstream of historical musicology. In my opinion, all this was possible to the researcher Emilianova. First of all, I find it necessary to emphasize the solidity of the documentary base of the research when every statement put forward is confirmed by the reference to sources in which a number of archival materials dominate on which the whole author's concept is built. In fact, the whole Emilianova's dissertation is based on the results of her archival research undertaken during the research. The author introduces in to the scientific circulation, a lot of new sources, which itself already determines the significance of the work. The overall perspective of the presentation is also traffic, uh, attractive when all the stages of Sridov's work, his compositions are viewed through the prism of the beneficial influences of his teachers, creative associations, and the phenomena of Leningrad's concept and theater life. And this remarkable a feature of this work, in art history monographs, often see a creation of historical background if a prologue to the main part of the study. In Emilianova's dissertation, the entire analysis of Jan Sridov's creative growth is examined in the context of the processes of musical life of Leningrad and the events of the country's political history. It can be added that Sridov's legacy that can be a part of it that belongs to the period of, of, of formation and years of life in Leningrad refers to the cultural and historical phenomena of specific significance and analysis of the standpoint of historical knowledge. Uh, turns out to be an appeal to a scientific problem, and this corresponds to the level of a non-candidate dissertation, but a study of a higher state. The author's point of view is clearly stated. The evidence base of work as the historical one is beyond doubt. The thesis of Emilianova fully corresponds to the requirements presented to the works of this kind. And to uh, to less significant merits, I will refer the volume of the dissertation, the amount of materials worked, published and archived, a clear structuring based on the chronological method of research and an objective analysis of the casual relationship of macro-political events in the country, the processes of artistic life in Leningrad and the births of uh, Sridov's work. The cognitive meaning of the path of the beginning composer convincingly shown in the dissertation to the peaks of professionalism when uh, his teachers, Yudin Rizano Shostakovich, played a special role in his destiny, as well as familiarity with the activities of the representatives of the Associating of Contemporary Music, the Chamber of Music Society. In addition, the way of forming of personality of a musician in the musical life on Leningrad, comprehending the semantic differences of his composer schools, acquiring the listener's development of the repertoire of the Great Hall of the Philharmonic Musical Theatres, and at the same time, the phenomenon of musical is clearly outlined. The section concerned the influence on the creative views of the Suridov of the so-called song update of the Soviet opera and symphony, which the author prefers to refer as the song movement of the Soviet musical culture, is very relevant. The author does not pass by the question of Suridov's creative work after the Posse Revolution of 46-48 and the magazines Vizda, Leningrad, Muradeli's Great Friendship, the these questions have not been ignored in the past, but only in modern conditions. The objective scientific ap approach is permissible to this term, which is not conditioned by any ide ideological pressure. Objectively, 
The activity of the Langrad Union of Composers and its reflection in the creative destiny of Sridov are highlighted in the dissertation. The author sees the pinnacle of the country of the fathers as the peak of the Leningrad period of life and creative work of the composer, which is difficult to disagree with. This dissertation is quite inspirational. Even before her birth, I was the student of conservatorium and I was listening to the lectures and participated in conferences with those who would understand uh, a lot. These are professors uh, Druskin, Pustirnikov and others. And their ideas on this issue were quite laconic, but still they were, didn't interfere the text of the dissertation. So the epoch is fully depicted. So I continue in reading my work. So the peak period is seeing the creative work of the composer, which is difficult to disagree with. So this uh, the theses uh, do not affect the fundamental provisions. And I'd rather cut some quotations in order for uh, further publication. And uh, it is quite easily done and can be easily published. I think it is the uh, ready monography or a ready book. and. Uh, I would like to ask a question. The work repeatedly mentions the memorable article Sombura instead of music, which became a vivid example of gross interference in art and one-sided categorical criticism of artistic phenomenon that did not allow the possibility of opposing a different opinion. It is all clear what prevents the author from calling the name of the author of this document or at least express her opinion upon the ideas contained in the book by Salomon Volkov. And the second issue. In the introductory section of the thesis, it is quite clearly stated the introduction into the scientific circulation of new sources. But in conclusion, where the results are uh, summed up, it would have been necessary to mark this more clearly, for this alone shows the unconditional value of the dissertation, the historical one. All above remarks, of course, do not affect the fundamental provisions of the thesis. I recommend only to take them into account and for the work on the topic. I don't ask for answers, just recommend it further on. And I hope that this work would be fruitful. Um, this dissertation of Emilianova Maria Edwardovna on the musical culture of Leningrad, 1930, mid-1950s, and the creative biography as read of corresponds to the basic requirements established by the order uh, of the 1st of September 2016, 68-21-1, and the procedure of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. The applicant Emilianova deserves the award of the scientific degree of the candidate history and specialty, domestic history. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Galina Viktorovna Skotnikova, the floor is yours. Dear Chairman of the Dissertation Council, dear guests, the thesis of Emilianova is, in a, is devoted to the uh, research of mu musical life of Leningrad in 1930s, uh, mid-1950s, and uh, the author is on high professional level on the basis of rich historical base, restore a bright picture of Leningrad musical culture of that period. Uh, the composer, who was greatly influenced and who receive a great faith in the huge power of music, and he understood a new Moscow period, its deep and uh, deep source in national and spiritual archetype. 
the topicality of this stage of the life and creative period of this great master of the 20th century is without a doubt. Uh, the development of uh, this uh, topic and the choice of this topic is a great stimulus to understand a great scale of Sviridov's heritage, first of all, in the, in the development of Russian identity. Uh, there are some sections which are very perfect in this thesis, where the author uh, considers the personalities of Shostakovich, Rizanov, and the character of the influence of the uh, creative path of Sviryut. Thus, the Leningrad period of Sviridov is a very rich uh, period, genuine artistic phenomenon, and so on. The thesis of Yemelyanova is written in a good language, very clear, there are uh, specific uh, structures, and this uh, gives us uh, to understand the musical life on Leningrad uh, through the lens of artistic bi biography of Sviridov. Uh, the thesis comprises uh, more than 400 uh, pages. Uh, there is a biography of Sviridov, the initial uh, stage, the main Soviet period, the modern stage, uh, 1998 to uh, 2016. The candidate demonstrates the deep knowledge of the literary issues. And uh, no, but there are some drawbacks. Uh, concerning the articles about the words and cognitive uh, dominance uh, with the hope for understanding uh, concerning the uh, 100th anniversary of Sviridov and uh, so on. The article of uh, 1983, it uh, was of high resonance both in uh, scientific and feature literature. Uh, the author archive documents, materials, uh, magazine articles, uh, statements, uh, scientific literature, um, the works of the composer himself, his uh, reminiscences, memoirs connected with the creative development of the, uh, his personality. And uh, thus, it changes the historical base. To my mind, uh, it should have been of high focus of candidates' attention. Uh, the candidate states that we know little about Sviridov's music, and this phenomenon should be uh, considered in more detail. And uh, we think that we know a lot, but it's not so in the reality. And there are some mistakes. Uh, you know that the word not accidentally in Russian uh, sometimes is written separately and sometimes as a one word. And such figures of the composer world of the 20th century, Shostakovich and Sviridov, there is an issue what joined them and what separated them. I want to say that uh, my remarks don't humiliate this interesting and unusual and profound thesis of the candidate, and it conforms with the requirements. Uh, it is a separate, detailed and complex research which has novelty, theoretical and practical significance. Uh, the thesis is uh, written in conformity with the requirements. And I think that uh, this work will be in high demand and of high interest among, among the scientists and those who appreciate the history of music. And I think that the thesis of Emilianova conforms with the requirements 
um, of the order uh, concerning their um, regulations on awarding their uh, scientific degrees, and I think that the candidate deserves the degree on speciality national history. Thank you for your attention. Galina Viktorovna, thank you very much. And I would like to give the floor to Cornelia Ichen. Thank you very much. A distinguished uh, Mr. Chairman of the Dissertation Council, thank you very much for the opportunity to take part in the work of the Dissertation Council. And I would like to say that the thesis which is submitted, to my mind, it is the research which exceeds the level of the candidate of the sciences. It is much uh, profound uh, concerning the uh, material which was uh, researched. The thesis of Emilianova contributes a lot uh, to the uh, study of uh, the uh, spirit of creative work, the formation of the creative personality of Sviridov uh, took place in Leningrad, and the author shows it and proves it in uh, her thesis. Thus, Emilianova addressed the uh, very beginning of Sviridov's creative uh, uh, biography, the development of his creative personality aiming at uh, uh, scientific interests. The author of this thesis managed to uh, cover the creative life of Sviridov and his constant development. Uh, the thesis is structure, structured according to chronological principle. Um, it covers five uh, chapters, and they reflect uh, the five stages of the creative biography of the composer. And uh, there is a historical approach uh, to the research, and it gives us the opportunity to understand all the uh, necessary uh, peculiarities of that period. Concerning uh, magazines Zvezda, Leningrad, and and also Leningrad case, uh, known as cosmopolitanism, and so on, it was necessary to understand and show the uh, wide const context of the development uh, of uh, pre-war of work as the historical one is beyond doubt. The thesis of Emilianova fully corresponds to the requirements presented to the works of this kind. And to, to less significant merits, I will refer the volume of the dissertation, the amount of materials worked, published and archived, a clear structuring based on the chronological method of research and an objective analysis of the casual relationship of macro-political events in the country, the processes of artistic life in Leningrad and the births of uh, Sridov's work. The cognitive meaning of the path of the beginning composer convincingly shown in the dissertation to the peaks of professionalism when uh, his teachers, Yudin Rizanov Shostakovich, played a special role in his destiny, as well as familiarity with the activities of the representatives of the Associating of Contemporary Music, the Chamber of Music Society. In addition, the way of forming of personality of a musician in the musical life on Leningrad comprehending the semantic differences of his composer schools, acquiring the listener's development of the repertoire of the Great Hall of the Philharmonic Musical Theatres, and at the same time, the phenomenon of musical is clearly outlined. The section concerned the influence on the creative views of the Seridov of the so-called song update of the Soviet opera and symphony, which the author prefers to refer as the song movement of the Soviet musical culture, is very relevant. The author does not pass by the question of Seridov's creative work after the Posse Revolution of 46-48 and the magazines Vizda, Leningrad, Muradeli's Great Friendship. These these questions have not been ignored in the past, but only in modern conditions. The objective scientific 
approach is permissible to this term, which is not conditioned by any ideological pressure objectively. The activity of the Leningrad Union of composers and its reflection in the creative destiny of Sridov are highlighted in the dissertation. The author sees the pinnacle of the country of the fathers as the peak of the Leningrad period of life and creative work of the composer, which is difficult to disagree with. This dissertation is quite inspirational. Even before her birth, I was the student of conservatorium and I was listening to the lectures and participated in conferences with those who would understand uh, a lot. These are professors uh, Druskin, Pustirnikov and others. And their ideas on this issue were quite laconic, but still they were, didn't interfere the text of the dissertation. So the epoch is fully depicted. So I continue in reading my work. So the peak period is seeing the creative work of the composer, which is difficult to disagree with. So this uh, the thesis uh, do not affect the fundamental provisions. And I'd rather cut some quotations in order for uh, further publication. And uh, it is quite easily done and can be easily published. I think it is the uh, ready monography or a ready book. and. Uh, I would like to ask a question. The work repeatedly mentions the memorable article Sombor instead of music, which became a vivid example of gross interference in art and one-sided categorical criticism of artistic phenomenon that did not allow the possibility of opposing a different opinion. It is all clear what prevents the author from calling the name of the author of this document or at least express her opinion upon the ideas contained in the book by Salomon Volkov. And the second issue. In the introductory section of the thesis, it is quite clearly stated the introduction into the scientific circulation of new sources. But in conclusion, where the results are uh, summed up, it would have been necessary to mark this more clearly, for this alone shows the unconditional value of the dissertation, the historical one. All above remarks, of course, do not affect the fundamental provisions of the thesis. I recommend only to take them into account and for the work on the topic. I don't ask for answers, just recommend it further on. And I hope that this work would be fruitful. Um, this dissertation of Emilianova Maria Edwardovna on the musical culture of Leningrad, 1930-mid-1950s, and the creative biography of Sridov corresponds to the basic requirements established by the order uh, of the 1st of September 2016, 6821-1, and the procedure of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. The applicant Emilianova deserves the award of the scientific degree of the candidate history and specialty, domestic history. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Galina Viktorovna Skotnikova, the floor is yours. Dear Chairman of the Dissertation Council, dear guests, the thesis of Yemelyanova is, in a, is devoted to the uh, research of mu musical life of Leningrad in 1930s, uh, mid 1950s, and uh, the author is on high professional level on the basis of rich historical base, restore a bright picture of Leningrad musical culture of that period. Uh, the composer who was greatly influenced and who receive a great faith in the huge power of music and he understood a new Moscow period, its deep and uh, deep source in national and spiritual archetype. 
the topicality of this stage of the life and creative period of this great master of the 20th century is without a doubt. Uh, the development of uh, this uh, topic and the choice of this topic is a great stimulus to understand a great scale of Sviridov's heritage, first of all, in the, in the development of Russian identity. Uh, there are some sections which are very perfect in this thesis, where the author uh, considers the personalities of Shostakovich, Rizanov, and the character of the influence of the uh, creative path of Sviryud. Thus, the Leningrad period of Sviridov is a very rich uh, period genuine artistic phenomenon and so on. The thesis of Emilianova is written in a good language, very clear. There are uh, specific uh, structures and this uh, gives us uh, to understand the musical life on Leningrad uh, through the lens of artistic bi biography of Sviridov. Uh, the thesis comprises uh, more than 400 uh, pages. Uh, there is a biography of Sviridov, the initial uh, stage, the main Soviet period, the modern stage, uh, 1998 to uh, 2016. The candidate demonstrates the deep knowledge of the literary issues and uh, no but there are some drawbacks uh, concerning the articles about the words and cognitive uh, dominance uh, with the hope for understanding uh, concerning the uh, 100th anniversary of Sviridov and uh, so on. The article of uh, 1983 it uh, was of high resonance both in uh, scientific and feature literature. Uh, the author archive documents, materials, uh, magazine articles, uh, statements, uh, scientific literature, um, the works of the composer himself, his uh, reminiscences, memoirs connected with the creative development of the, uh, his personality. And uh, thus, it changes the historical base. To my mind, uh, it should have been of high focus of candidates' attention. Uh, the candidate states that we know little about Sviridov's music, and this phenomenon should be uh, considered in more detail. And uh, we think that we know a lot, but it's not so in the reality. And there are some mistakes. Uh, you know that the word not accidentally in Russian uh, sometimes is written separately and sometimes as a one word. And such figures of the composer world of the 20th century, Shostakovich and Sviridov, there is an issue what joined them and what separated them. I want to say that uh, my remarks don't humiliate this interesting and unusual and profound thesis of the candidate, and it conforms with the requirements. Uh, it is a separate, detailed and complex research which has novelty, theoretical and practical significance. Uh, the thesis is uh, written in conformity with the requirements. And I think that uh, this work will be in high demand and of high interest among, among the scientists and those who appreciate the history of music. And I think that the thesis of Emilianova conforms with the requirements 
um, of the order uh, concerning their um, regulations on awarding their uh, scientific degrees, and I think that the candidate deserves the degree on speciality national history. Thank you for your attention. Galina Viktorovna, thank you very much. And I would like to give the floor to Cornelia Ichen. Thank you very much. A distinguished uh, Mr. Chairman of the dissertation Council, thank you very much for the opportunity to take part in the work of the dissertation Council. And I would like to say that the thesis which is submitted, to my mind, it is the research which exceeds the level of the candidate of the sciences. It is much uh, profound uh, concerning the uh, material which was uh, researched. The thesis of Emelianova contributes a lot uh, to the uh, study of uh, the Sviridov uh, creative work, the formation of the creative personality of Sviridov uh, took place in Leningrad, and the author shows it and proves it in uh, her thesis. Thus, Emelianova addressed the uh, very beginning of Sviridov's creative uh, uh, biography, the development of his creative personality aiming at uh, uh, scientific interests. The author of this thesis managed to uh, cover the creative life of Sviridov and his constant development. Uh, the thesis is structure, structured according to chronological principle. Um, it covers five uh, chapters, and they reflect uh, the five stages of the creative biography of the composer. And uh, there is a historical approach uh, to the research, and it gives us the opportunity to understand all the uh, necessary uh, peculiarities of that period concerning uh, magazines Zvezda, Leningrad, and and also Leningrad case uh, known as cosmopolitanism and so on. It was necessary to understand and show the uh, wide const context of the development uh, of uh, pre war on page 62. I uh, refer to the uh, opinion of Maximenko, a key figure in the events uh, of 1936, and all the musical institutions uh, subordinated uh, to him. Uh, in the concluding part of my thesis on page 386, I state that only in 1946 in the composer's organizations, uh, the management and uh, ideological control appeared only at that period. And only in 1946. And before that, since uh, 1936, there was a very interesting situation when only unions of composers um, on places existed. They were separate organizations, and it was the reasons for the poor campaign uh, in struggle with um, those musicians. And uh, thank you for additional sources uh, for the research, the interview with Tulin's daughter. I would like to say there are a lot of sources which were not considered in my thesis, uh, but due to some uh, secondary role of them, and I had uh, to uh, choose uh, 
attentively the sources. And as for the review of Milena Vsevolodna Rajdestvinskaya, uh, thank you very much for a detailed study of my thesis and comments. As for the more detailed discussion about the interaction, the music and words in the creative work of Sviridov, it is a uh, cornerstone of uh, uh, s uh, music. Uh, the composer himself focused on uh, he uh, the fact that uh, the word is the beginning of everything and the vivid word with uh, his emotions and uh, mysterious depth is an impulse and I think that the consideration of this topic can be the basis for the separate uh, study uh, on the border of uh, philology and musical studies. But I would like to stick to the history and focus on this historical slant. And uh, thank you for this comment. I would like, uh, and as for the structure of my work, and I will consider them in the future. And as for one remark, I would like to explain. Uh, we, uh, concerning the names of some institutions. Uh, here is uh, the issue concerning the paragraphs and chapters of my thesis. Of course, I uh, speak about uh, the names of the institutions and in the references I give the historical remarks about the fact that the names were changed. And as for the statements of the Communist uh, Party of the Soviet uh, period, and I state all the information about these documents, and uh, I did not want to make my text too excessive. That's why I did not stay these moments uh, within the text. And as for the report of Galina Viktorovna Skotnikova, thank you very much for these constructive and valuable comments and uh, for the attention to my work. And as for the fact that I did not reflect in my thesis uh, the works of my scientific supervisor, Olga Borisovna Sakurova. Of course, I have studied all her works. Uh, if you take page 8, I list the authors of the volume uh, The Musical World of Smiri Sviridov, and I refer there to the work of Sakurova's work about the Pushkin's wreath. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I did not uh, consider um, Pushkin in my research, and uh, I'm talking about Sviridovsky reading in my uh, research. As for substitution, the historical base for the subject of my research, the subject of my research is the set of documents and uh, materials concerning the development of Sviridov's creative personality in the Leningrad period and the study of uh, creative biography of Sviridov are uh, explained in uh, some parts of my thesis, and I will think about the more precise f formulation of my research. Thank you. Also, I understand the I wish of Galina Viktorovna to explain the musical heritage of the composer on the pages of my research. But the detailed consideration of this issue would make my research not a historical one, but more a musical one. Uh, 
And as for musical pieces I used in my research, uh, uh, page 11, I uh, say about the photograph photographical reference book, and it comprises the whole circle of the composer's works. and. Uh, it gives the full imagination and understanding about the creative work of Sviridov. And one more wish concerns the contradiction of um, creative act of Shostakovich and uh, Sviridov. There are different points of view on this issue. And in a uh, Sovremenic journal, Alexander Sergeyevich Belanenko and other specialists considered this issue. And in this case, uh, it is in his power. And in my work, I uh, cover the initial Len Leningrad period of the relationships between Shostakovich and Sviridov according to the principle the um, uh, teacher and uh, the student and uh, later years uh, are beyond my research but again thank you very much for your remarks and comments and as for the remark of Cornelia Ichin, distinguished uh, Mrs. Cornelia. Thank you for the attention to my work, for your detailed comments. All the remarks of uh, Mrs. Cornelia concern historical characteristics of uh, the development of our country in 1930s. And she thinks that in 1930s the most uh, uh, cultural activists, they joined uh, creative unions according to professional uh, strata. And they were not aimed at uh, the mass culture. And I uh, give the reasons for uh, that. And uh, I'm not talking about the mass culture, which was declared by the ideologist of the previous period. And the statements of uh, Central Committee, they uh, controlled uh, the unions of musicians and they were created according to the class uh, principle. and. Uh, this statement uh, had devastating effect on the culture and as a result the artistic intelligence hoped that within the frames of new centralized unions they became would become equal uh, without connection with political and artistic interests. And I take into account the devastating effect of proletarian organizations and many profound uh, cultural leaders were obstructed and criticized. And the closing down of these organizations uh, gave freedom to cultural leaders and should they should be divided according to the professional issues and another remark it concerns about the 1930s uh, that it was the time of uh, radical uh, cultural change uh, there are different opinions in this respect and um, the processes in the 1920s and 1930s are different. I take into account the general trend, not only uh, governmental policy but the development of the culture on the whole, the destruct, d destructive trend concerning the culture. 
uh, on the other hand, among the avant-garde, uh, avant-garde specialists, I'm talking about the musicians, there were tendencies of uh, valuable experience, rational constructions, and this way was temporary. But nevertheless, it uh, had a lot of achievements. But it was inevitable to include the creative searches in the cause of spiritual problems, um, which were the characteristic of the Russian culture on the whole. And these were the reasons of cultural change, of radical cultural uh, change. There was a turn to classical heritage and the art De developed without uh, getting rid of old traditions and uh, the musical culture of uh, 1930s is very interesting in this respect the search for new modern musical language it was uh, with the basis on classical um, basis and as for the Authors uh, as Bedny, Bulgakov, Tairov, I uh, don't join them. They have had different views on the issues. For example, Bedny is different from Bulgakov and Tairov. It is the citation from the book of um, Maximenko, Stalin and Cultural Revolution. And the last question about I would like to say that the, uh, this topic you mentioned is of high interest for me and I have several articles where I consider Sviridov's work from the blog's point of view uh, how he worked and uh, what was his way to make the poet uh, more musical Well, but it is in contradiction with the aim of my thesis and the report of Vladimir Vladimirovich. Thank you very much for such kind attitude to my thesis, for your comments. In your review, you wanted to hear my opinion about the uh, data in the book of Solomon Volkov. You are talking about the Buddhist uh, testimony and the reminiscences of Shostakovich. Uh, this book is a contradictory one and uh, many professional musical critics uh, think that uh, it is not true musical source, but I'm not sure whether to support this or that side. And for me, this book is also contradicting contradictory but and as it is not connected with my research I did not mention it in my uh, work I would like to thank distinguished Alexander Sergeyevich Bilanenko for high appreciation of my research and his remarks which I uh, will use in my further work and as for remarks of Alexander Sergeyevich about the inclusion of Leningrad addresses into my research, I have got all this interesting base, but I did not uh, decide to use it because I was limited in, uh, by musical frames. But I mention about the uh, relations of Sviridov with uh, musical writers and I consider the creative uh, path of young Sviridov and I would like to continue the work upon this interesting uh, topic in my monograph. Uh, again, thank you very much for the interest to my a dissertation. I hope I have answered all your comments and remarks.
please be seated. And now we are moving to the open discussion where everyone of the present here can participate. But I would like you to remind that the agenda is five minutes, but please be sure to, if it is possible. So, dear colleagues who would like to give a talk on the research of Maria Edwardovna, maybe on on the whole, on what you have heard today. Uh, please let me have a few words. I was quite ample as the opponent of the Council, so now I would like to cut it short. Uh, in general, being here at the meeting and earlier reading the text of the dissertation, I was thinking about that the connection of different processes that take place in this or that period of time, in this or that epoch, for every historian and for every person who is given a thought to the things uh, about our so society and cultural processes, it is clear that they depend upon politics because politics uh, influences the development of culture and the cultural activities, but sometimes there are unique cases, unique fates, when all these processes got mixed within the life of one simple person who happens to be a unique person, not a simple person, and whose life is a unique phenomenon. And the studies of such a biography becomes the main factor of development of historical science on the whole, because through studying of this biography, you can learn the history of the country. If talking about Georgi Sviridov, the history of not only the Soviet Union, but the history of modern Russia on the whole to understand why our modern culture exists as it is, and of course, referral to this topic demands high qualification and brevity, and it is great when this brevity comes together with hard labor and dedication as we have Meant, met here. Dear colleagues, maybe some of you have got something to say. If there is no one to say, I would like to give the floor to Maria Edwardovna, but I think you would refuse. Yes, because uh, there were no remarks in my talk, and I would like to give the floor to the scientific supervisor, the doctor of culturology, Olga Borisovna Sakurova. I remind you that you have only three minutes. The mic is turned off. Please turn on the mic. There is no voice in the mic. Uh, the words that Roman Alexandrovich had said about the uh, personality of Mr. Sviridov within our history, Ahmadova used to tell uh, Block, as he has been mentioned today, she called Block the epochal person, meaning the epoch of the silver age. And I think that the personality of Sviridov can be called the person of the epoch, the epoch of the 20th century of our history. He was born during the First World War when 
the tragic background of the tragical history of the Russia Empire in the 20th century and uh, he passed away at the period of the turbulent time of the 1990s and uh, Maria Edwardovna referred to quite disputable period of the 1930s and she researched it quite well and yesterday there was a presentation by Evgeny Petrovich Churov, the presentation of his book and there was a very interesting discussion and his book was presented and uh, in his introduction there was said that modern historical science is more often refers to anthropo anthropological uh, approach in studying history and culture. It is definitely so, and I think that this approach was applied by Maria Edwardovna because through this first stage, first period of his biography, we can see the portrait of the epoch, and the epoch is the background for his development, and it explains how the fundamental characteristics were set. And as Maria Edwardovna has referred to the basics of Sviridov, I would like to remind the backgrounds of her own biography. She graduated from the Minsk uh, University and the Minsk Conservatorium. She uh, graduated from it as the composer and at the university she was studying at the arts faculty and uh, she came from Belarus but her roots are here in our city and she longed for living and working and studying and researching here in this city and she was successful in it so the whole her previous life allowed her to create such an extraordinary dissertation and during her research she showed herself as a hard-working person and she was quite talented because she can see all these things as she is a composer herself and as far as I know she's quite successful in this field and moreover I would like to thank everyone for consultations and I would like to thank Alexander Sergeyevich Belanenko because all his pieces of advice and all his recommendations they were quite important for the successful finalizing of this thesis. Thank you. As the scientific supervisor, I support my student and her thesis. Thank you. Thank you, Olga Borisovna. Dear colleagues and guests, just in one minute a break will be announced but before I do this I would like uh, Mrs. Cornelia Ichi not to lose the translation because there will be a uh, vote so the, there is a five minute break that will be used for discussing the issue of awarding a scientific degree, maybe the uh, break will be less than five minutes and I ask you to turn off the sound during the broadcast of the meeting to present guests and colleagues who are not members of the dissertation council. I please uh, ask you to leave the hall and I will invite you when the meeting is over. By the way, I would like to inform me 
about the moment when the translation is off. Distinguished colleagues, please take your seats. Uh, our meeting continues. I ask you to switch on the sound of the meeting's translation to make sure that it is working. And the decisive minutes of the dissertation cancel. I raise the question of awarding an academic degree to an open roll call. I remind you that the decision of the dissertation council on the awarding of the academic degree is considered positive in more than half of it voted for it, but not less than three members of the dissertation council who participated in the meeting in accordance with paragraph 23 of the procedure for awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg State University, appendix number one to the order. Um, uh, uh, distinguished Canele Ichin, I am for the degree awarding. Thank you. The member of the council, distinguished Milena Vseladovna Rajdestvinska, your opinion? I am for the rewarding 
the degree of the candidate of historical sciences. Thank you, Vladimir uh, Vladimirovich Mazinsky, the member of our dissertation council. Of course, I am for. Distinguished Galina Dmitrievna Skotnikova, of course, I'm for the awarding the scientific degree. Distinguished co colleagues, I, as a member of the dissertation council, I'm for the awarding Maria Emilianova the scientific degree. The, thus, as a result of our vote, named vote, the decision on awarding the academic degree is accepted. All the five members of the dissertation council were for the awarding the degree. There were no votes against and of course, there were no votes who are not sure whether to. And the decision on awarding the academic degree of the candidate of historical sciences on specialty 07 0002 national history is accepted. Uh, dear Maria Vsevlodna, I congratulate you on this decision and you have got an opportunity to say a concluding word if it is necessary. Again, I would like uh, to thank everybody to distinguished uh, chairman of the dissertational council as well as the members of it Elena Vsevolodovna, Galina Viktorovna, Vladimir Vladimirovich, my special gratitude to Mrs. Cornelia and I want to thank my external uh, reviewer Mr. Belanenko, thank you, everybody, thank you for such detailed and special attention to my work, for the advice. You became my first readers, and it's a great pleasure and a great honor for me. It is a great support, uh, which um, give me the impulse for my further research. And thank you, everyone who took part in the discussion of my research. And thank you, everybody who watch online my defense. And especially, I would like to uh, say thank you to my scientific supervisor, Olga Sakurova, for her help and support your kind attitude for me and your care and I would like to thank all the team of the Department of Western European uh, Historical Culture, the head of the de department, Denis Tsipkin, for their wise supervision and for these years they have supported me and helped, gave uh, precious advice and I have always felt that the genius of this historical place with his unusual fate and uh, memory and my uh, uh, gratitude to this Specialists of Dissertational cons uh, Council, the head of the department, Aiba Tamaragu, Guramovna, Khrushcheva, Larisa, and thank you very much for simultaneous interpreter, interpreters and all those who helped me today. Thank you very much again. Uh, congratulations, uh, distinguished colleagues and guests. I am ready to uh, 
uh, hear you accept your uh, critical remarks on the procedure of today's meetings if there were such uh, thank you uh, thus uh, thank you very much for the participations I won't have the opportunity to say goodbye to Ms. Cornelia because the broadcast will be switched off and our meeting is declared closed. And please uh, cut off the live broadcast at the website of the university.